Greetings, one boy here, one boy made it. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about changing colors. Today, I'm gonna to share with you the method that I use to change colors on the round loom, and I'll share with you the method that I use to change colors on the long loom. Now, keep in mind, these are very basic color changes, and also keep in mind, there are so many ways that people have of changing colors on their looms. I'm just going to share with you the methods that I like and that work for me. But who knows, maybe you know of something that works a little better, or maybe you know of something that is even a little easier. If you do, please share it with us. But right now, I'm going to show you the method I use for changing colors on the round loom. This is my project on a round loom. What I'm going to do is show you the method that I use to change colors on a round loom. The first thing I do is I cut away the source yarn. So when I'm ready to change, I take the old yarn off and I leave a tail of about five inches. I go to the new yarn and I wanna make a loop but I wanna make a loop with a tail that's about five inches long. So I'm gonna make a loop as if we're starting a new project, but I wanted to have a tail that's about four or five inches long. So we have our loop, and just like starting a new project, we're gonna take this loop and we're going to put it on the first peg as if we were starting a new project. So we put the loop on the first peg and then we're going to tighten that loop around that peg. So we're going to pull on the tail or pull on the source yarn to make that loop tight around that peg. You want it really, really tight. Okay. And you want to push it down. Now, once we've done that, we're going to take the tail from our original source yarn from the old color and we're going to take the tail from the loop of the new color and we're going to take these two tails and we're going to tie them to get together and we want to pull it pretty tight and we want to try to get it right to the bottom at the base of that peg there we want it as tight and as close as we can get it and once we've tied it one time, we're going to do another knot and pull it in as tight as we can. Okay, now we've got to do something that maybe, maybe it won't be considered too nice, but we're going to go over here where we have this loop on the peg, the purple loop here uh, from our, the new yarn that we're going to be using. And... Well, I don't know how else to say it except to say, I don't need you anymore, so I'm getting rid of you. And so you take that loop off that peg. All right, so now you have your source yarn, your new yarn, your new color that you're going to use. But there's a loop in it. There's a little loop in it. So what you're going to do is take that tail and hold it over here while you pull the source yarn to get that loop out. So we want the loop to go away now. Okay, the loop is gone. So now our yarn is ready for knitting. So we're gonna put the tails in the center of, of the loom. We're gonna take our new source yarn and we're gonna start wrapping, knitting, and we're gonna go on about our business as if nothing had happened. And that is how I change colors on the round loom. And now let's talk about this long loom. When I'm changing colors on the long loom, this is my process. Well, the first thing I do, and I've already done it, is I cut my source yarn away. So this was attached to my ball. And so now, I've cut it, I cut it about five inches long. So I cut that away from the yarn, the old yarn, and I have my new yarn ready right here. 
So the first thing I'm going to do before I even get to my new yarn is I'm going to take this old yarn that I just cut away from the source material, the ball that I was using to knit uh, this color with. And I'm going to take this yarn and I'm also going to take a crochet hook. I'm going to count in one, two, three, at least three of these pegs. One, two, three. I'm going to take my crochet hook and somewhere after the three, I'm going to find, just find a little stitch to put the crochet hook under. Okay. So we want it to be at least three pegs in before we get to a stitch. And it doesn't matter which stitch. There's no particular stitch, but I prefer a stitch that's on top and there's no rhyme or reason if you see a a good stitch that you can slip the crochet hook under, then do it at, when it's at least three pegs in. The reason why we want to stay at least three pegs in with this is because this, these are going to be our strings that we're going to um, join with. We're going to make the knot here and everything, and we don't want this showing on the edges. We want to keep this inside um, the ditch inside the ditch. Okay, so we've got our original source yarn and we're going to hook that on the crochet hook, which is sometimes the most challenging thing. Okay, we got it. So we got the um, yarn underneath the stitch and now we're going to do the exact same thing with the new yarn. So we're going to put the crochet hook. It can be that one or a different one. I'm just going to put it underneath the same one. So we got the crochet hook back underneath now and we're going to get the new yarn and we're going to get it hooked onto the crochet hook and okay so there it goes. So now what do we have? We have both the old yarn and the new yarn underneath a little stitch here in the ditch. <laughs> okay, so now we've got both pieces of yarn. Going to even them up a little bit and we're going to tie them in a knot, not so tight and not so close uh, the first time, but the second time we do the knot we're going to make it close to the first knot and that way kind of secure our knot and we're going to make sure that it's pretty much tight. Okay, so we, what did we do? We pulled the original source yarn and the new yarn underneath a little piece of yarn or a stitch here in the ditch and then we tied the two, the new yarn and the old yarn together. Okay, and the first time we didn't tie it too tightly, but the second, we made a second knot that secured it and is pretty tight there. So what we're going to do is just lay this all in the ditch. This is where it's going to hide. And that is why you don't see any yarns here on the sides because all the, the yarns from all these color changes are right here in the ditch. Then we're going to go to the source yarn and we're not going to pull on it too hard because we don't want to pull everything out. It is attached. It has been tied here and we don't want to pull too hard. I'm but sorry. we're just going to go gentle. to the outside and go underneath so that we can start our normal pattern. So we're going to go to the outside, go underneath the first peg and then do our normal um, stitch that we know how to do on the, or that I know how to do on the long loom. And so we'll just, and so we'll just, I'm gonna keep that, all that hidden and just go like we would normally do. And we just keep wrapping until we get to where our scarf ends right here and then we would just take pick and now 
and we would just do what we would normally do. And there you go. There you go. And so by the time we do the second round, we won't see that old yarn at all. And so we just go around like we normally do. Like I said, if you're not familiar with how to loom knit on a long loom, I do have a video called how to knit on a long loom. <laughs> and um, so thank you very much. So go out there and change some colors. You're going to have a lot of fun. Although we all know that change comes from within. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Until next time. Peace.